You know, I, I talk a lot about Matterport. Quite a while ago, we picked up Matterport really before most anyone in the industry had done it on any scale at any rate. We tested a bunch of lights and we found like the best thing that worked. And we found a way to literally use Matterport to assess even the most complex large losses. Uh, we pushed, um, you know, we pushed what Matterport told us we could do. Uh, they were great about, you know, kind of taking our challenges and making, you know, stepping forward. And then we watched their improvements and it's just been a wild ride. And it's, it's changed a lot about how we do our job when we're in the field. And it's changed a lot about how, um, you know, about, about how lots of people, probably 15% of our client base right now probably sends it in to it for our remote stuff. So, I mean, that's, 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 that's pretty good. Not long ago, Matterport put out um, that they would now let other 360 cameras work with their system, with the Matterport system, which would be um, the Theta by Ryko and um, the Insta360. Um, the Insta360 I was a little scared of because it is really uh, not what I would consider to be a pro tool. It's cool. It uh, does a pretty good job with things, but I just didn't think that something that wafy small and relatively lightly built belonged in the world of, of, of insurance claims. Um, recently we did uh, some, some apartments and we gave uh, the 360 a um, a chance after calibrating it for quality and what we found was surprising and what we found was simply this one the Matterport camera produces a better image the Matterport camera is slower we can do with the Matterport camera about 1,500 square feet an hour. Now that's 1,500 square feet an hour for somebody who's really good at doing it. Even in a, in a place that's got a lot of small rooms, it, it, it just, you have to have somebody that you have, that have, you have to have light on the unit and you have to move quickly. Number two, um, the Insta360 is not as good in all cases, as 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 Matterport, but just like almost every single thing in photography, if you can control the light, you can usually control the output. So, I'll show you some ways that we've some things that we've added to these. Um, these units to show you how to maybe add some light to them. It's a little more trouble than what we do on the, on the regular Matterport camera by just simply putting a 30 light LED on the top with Velcro. Um, Cause you're gonna have to use the tripod that they have and, and actually uh, add another connector just to put them together. I can do a tutorial on that particular thing, but that wasn't the really, that's not the crux of what I'm talking about. Here's the thing. We can take something that weighs less than two pounds with every component, including a battery pack, a cord to run for the battery pack, the lights, the Insta360, the Insta360, uh, uh, it's a really selfie stick, but the, um, under that is the, um, the tripod. We can do all of that. And it's about two and a, uh, it's about two and a half pounds. And it can be just thrown into a little case and deployed very easily. Um, that's pretty enticing. The other thing that was really enticing was we had some of our best guys who were able to produce really, really good scans of property and were running at 2,500 square feet an hour. That's four of our guys clipping 10,000 square feet an hour. 
That is awesome. I commend Matterport for doing what they've done because they really are changing the game by letting all these various cameras get onto these systems. And I think while I would not advise you necessarily to have this, I would advise you that the Theta, that the Insta360 are options that create a lower barrier to entry into using this technology. Um, I know that they cost a little bit more on Matterport when you're processing those scans when they come from something other than their own camera, or it was a few weeks ago when I checked. Um, I'm not sure the logic on that, but I'm sure that at some point that's going to change too. But I'm pretty stoked to have these other options. And I think that with, with any luck, we are going to be doing some even more amazing things with this technology very soon. But what I want to tell you is I can get into the Matterport ProCam with a um, can't, with a with a very good uh, tripod, um, a Manfrotto. I forget what the model is, but but a good Manfrotto uh, tripod with a flathead. Um, get the DAC sixty for the connector and the Matterport camera. And I'm, you know, I'm not getting out of that under four thousand dollars before I even really get a case for it. And that's just that's that's just the truth. And in my to my mind, it's worth every dollar. I've done that more times than I can count because it, it has been worth every dollar. When we did a power supply, lighting, tripod, and camera on the Insta360, it was quite amazing because we tapped out at $603. That is a value proposition that most anybody in our industry could get into. And that gives more people in our industry the ability to freeze a moment in time. And that is probably the single greatest thing technology wise we can do for an insurance claim because it allows us to go back and see what, what was done or what the damage was. It's cheap enough for a lot of you, um, contractors to do pre and post on your work so that you can show what was done and what, what wasn't with truly prima facie facts. Guys, have a great day. If you need anything at all, let me know. It's always a pleasure to speak to you here. And I've got such a, such a busy week coming. I wanted to just give you a shout today and give you this information because this could be different. Take care.